Hey guys, welcome to King Skeleton Channel. This is Bo. How are we doing? It's been a little bit since I've done a trucking video. Other than that, welcome. We had a huge update with this game. Um, everything has changed. Uh, I think it's the uh, the new beta. I think it's uh, 1.37. Uh, you can open windows now and everything else. Um, right now, if you can tell, it's raining so windows can't really be open um a lot of new things happen a lot of new steering wheels uh traffic sounds and everything else so there's a whole bunch of different things and they update it to where they try to make it more realistic uh and up to date as they can so other than that this is Bo. welcome back and i just wanted to um make another video because it's been a while other than that uh, thank you for so mu thank you so much for the uh, subscribers out there that have subscribed to my channel. We're at 85 subscribers, guys. Keep it up. Awesome job. Uh, make sure you uh, you know spread my name out and everything. Make sure everybody checks my YouTube channel. Other than that, I want to dedicate this um, this uh, trip right here. I want to dedicate this to Philip Miller. Philip Miller, I hope you are driving safe there, son, and everything else, and uh, hope you're doing all right. Other than that, make sure you have a safe trip back home and everything else, son. This is for you. Alright? So, anyways, back to where we're going. Is we're going to put, put up the map right here. We are in Bakersfield, California. Now, I remember the last video we were somewhere else. But since the there was a huge update and everything, so it dragged me back to Bakersfield where my main garage is. So... We are going to pick up a load and see which one we're going to do and where we want to go. And there are new trailers, there are new loads uh, that are out now. So, you know, I can pull other 18-wheelers and everything else. Like it's, it's pretty cool. So, we are going to figure out, you know, what we're going to do. So, oh, I'm in my truck. <laughs> okay, so. We're gonna do. We're gonna click this, and we're gonna click. See what we can do close. Uh, let's see now. Oh, Arizona, no. Mexico, no. Let's do. Oh, we can go all the way to Oregon. Or <laughs> we can drive only two hundred miles and carry that whatever the heck that thing is oh it's a harvard i'm an idiot anyways let's go ahead and go to california to utah we are hauling oh farmer's barn so we are going to pick up that trailer so we set the gps and like I said, with this new update they came out with, um, the engine is going to sound different. Uh, the horn honking is going to sound different and everything else. So in my other videos, I'm sure some people are like, man, that's a cool sound engine. Well, they changed it. So it's not that sound anymore. Um, I actually found one that sounds, to me, it sounds a little better. I don't know how you guys think of it. But leave comments below on what you guys think of the, uh, you know the new update and everything else the new beta so leave comments below on what you guys think of it and everything other than that we are going to pick up this trailer so let's get to it and i'm gonna show you one of the horn honkins that actually you know sound different so rig is you know different i changed the color of my dashboard uh you know if you can't tell it's white and black with a black steering wheel so we are going to show you the honkin okay all right so uh and then we're gonna fire up the rig and we're going to let you guys hear how this peterbilt sounds baby oh yeah okay all right calm down bo calm down 
<laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. Yes, I still got the blue light in the cab, like always. And it's raining outside, sadly. Oh, here we have lights on. Okay, so. Yeah, you see the air brake right here and hear that sound, it actually sounds like an actual, what it's supposed to sound like. So they pretty much try to grab all the real sounds and they try to, you know, make it realistic as possible. So let's go ahead and put this thing in gear. All right, too low. And let's go get our trailer. Easy around the corner. Look at all them Peterbilts. Whew. All right. I believe that this Peterbilt that we're driving has 550 horsepower. Um, and uh, we are driving a. Uh, driving, what am I saying? Driving. We have a 18 uh, speed manual transmission, uh, 18 speed. So Philip, if you're watching this video, ha ha, I'm driving an eight or a, <laughs> an 18 speed and you only have a 13, ha ha. No, I'm kidding. I'm just messing with it. Um, other than that, um, we are on our way to put the trailer. Yep, and Philip, I can I can tell what you mean by the visor being in your way. I'm waiting for the horn honking and maybe the finger for uh, go. <laughs> oh yeah, let them go first. You know what? Why am I even stopping? There's no traffic. <sighs> anyway, I already know Philip's probably laughing his ass off right now. Anyways, hopefully everybody. Uh, had a good weekend um you know right now it's beautiful outside after all that rain and snow and everything else we've been having for the last several days and everything so uh right now it's about almost 60 degrees here where i'm at bright and sunny out and everything and, you know just the right time of weather type of weather to go out and truck you know what i mean like I said, Philip, hopefully when uh, you get home safe and everything else, and you know, make sure you pop them beavers for me, son. I'll tell you that. Oh, why did I stop go? But hopefully everybody had a safe weekend. That's uh, too high. Alright. Let's see what we got. I think we click on this. There she is, right there. Let's go hook her up. <laughs> hook her up. I crack myself up sometimes. All right, turn the hazards on. Okay. And let's go around here. There she is, right there, son. All right, Phil, watch this. All right, I bet you I can back up better than you can. <laughs> no, I can't. Um, we're good. So, uh, come on, truck. Come on. Hey, Philip, if you're watching this video, leave a comment below on uh, what you think about my, uh, my uh, backing up a trailer. We're backing into a trailer, I should say. I can already tell you I fucked up. Yep. I already fucked up. Turn the truck. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right, let's see how it looks. How you like them apples? 
Yeah, Phil, leave a comment below on what you got, what you think about my backing. I bet you I back better than you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, he's probably like, "Fuck, I drive longer than you have." No, but we're good. So let's hook her up. Let's get some hauling done, son. All right. Put in gear. Take the brake off. And we're good. I love how this rig sounds. It sounds dangerous. All right. We got 727 miles to go all the way to Utah. All right, Let's see if I can make this tighten. This rain needs to stop, like, seriously. Let's see, how many pounds are we hauling here? We are hauling 38,481 pounds. Holy macaroni and cheese with extra tomato sauce. Okay, well, this is gonna be interesting. Do we need fuel? Uh, I should probably stop and get fuel. No, actually, eh, we'll wait. Screw it, let's go, keep going. Just keep going, going, going. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, come on. It's only freaking 30,000 pounds. Come on. Let's go. Wrap it up. It rides, Sally, ride. Ooh, the inside of the cab does sound like a real rig. Wow, they've actually updated the sound. I'm impressed. Yeah, baby. We're on a highway to hell. Highway to hell. Highway to hell. Don't stop signs. Speed a little bit. Yeah, I got this song stuck in my head. cruise and we're good sorry guys if that was loud I'm vaping while driving never try that at home guys <laughs> but anyway hopefully everybody had a good weekend and uh, whatever you guys live at hopefully you guys have good beautiful weather out there and everything else you know heading outside you know trying to stretch out and everything being stuck in the house and everything there's all that you know snow and rain and everything and uh, like I said, I want to say it one more time is Philip, we're watching this video and everything. Make sure you be all right, all right? Don't go 90 or 100 miles an hour, friend, okay? We know that, we all know that's your favorite speed limit, but slow down, okay? So, uh, anyways, Philip, love you, bro, and uh, have a safe trip. And hopefully you enjoyed this video that I'm making and everything else. Other than that, you have a good one. But hopefully everybody had a good, decent weekend and everything else. Hopefully no one did anything silly. Um, any updates with Bo? Let's see here. Do I have any updates lately? Um... think if there's anything well if you guys haven't uh, if you guys already seen my video when I did an interview with Philip Miller um, that was actually whoa I'm going 80 I am driving like Philip holy macaroni anyway I did an interview with him when his truck and everything and 
that was a really good experience. Now I can't tell my, you know, tell myself or low on anybody. I've never been inside of a Peterbilt. His, his rig was a Peterbilt and everything. And I had so, so much fun. So, so much fun. And, you know, it was very good experience and everything. And in the film, he switch seats with me where I was in the driver's seat like oh my gosh it's like it was trying I was trying so hard not to you know turn the truck on and put it in first and then start taking off but you know it was a good experience I was able to start it too and just turning the truck off and turning it back on and it was just like oh my gosh I'm actually touching a Peterbilt you know I've never been inside of an 18 wheeler to let alone touch one so I've always seen them you know when I'm in a distance or you know, I'm driving past them, but I've never really had my paws on one. So I got to sit in one, um, felt the 500 horsepower underneath the hood. Uh, he took me for a little cruise down the highway and everything. And that was amazing. Like that was, that was my heaven right there. And, uh, Philip, like I said, if you're watching this video, thank you so much, bro, for making my, making my, dream come true and everything else i really really do appreciate it man like really appreciate it thank you so much i love you and uh you know hopefully we'll uh, hang out some other time and everything but uh other than that we are at 630 miles to go people and we're on our way to utah much construction but uh but yeah i am actually very happy that i finally get to do or at least hop into something that i've always wanted to do but with me having epilepsy and everything else i can't do what my dream job is so and my seizures are so serious and so severe that i really can't really do much that i used to do and that's causing me not able to work so, but, uh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, get over here. But anyways, how's a Jake break sound? Ooh. Ooh. Not as loud as I hope it was, but. Oh, yeah. God, hearing that freaking Peter Pill. Dude, that sounds so fucking awesome. Excuse my French, guys, but seriously. Oh man, that was that was that was sexy. Oh. Anyways, sorry. Um. Anyway, so it was funny because earlier, <laughs> so. I ordered something on Amazon. Oh my gosh, I am dumber than a bag of crickets. Um, I ordered something on Amazon a few weeks ago, and um, I was waiting for a while for it. And I'm like, why? Why haven't I, you know, gotten an email stating that you know it's been shipped or whatever? I totally forgot that when I made the Amazon account, I made a whole new email address. I thought I used my original email address, but when I got onto my computer, it saved it. So when I hit Amazon, it I'm all automatically logged in. And when I looked at the email, it was under, and I was like, I am an idiot. So I went and called customer service, and she found the uh, the object that I that I bought, but it wasn't coming up with anything else. And it was supposed to, uh, we just found out that it's going to be here by May 1st. So about a week or two. And I feel so stupid and dumb. It's like, but at the same time, that's what seizures do to you, man, is they, they trash your memory and everything to where short-term memory loss, yeah, runs through the family, apparently. Anyway, but I felt so stupid and everything else. I was like, yep. And Shelby, <laughs> Shelby's like, you're an idiot. Walks out the door and goes to work. <laughs> so, 
you know, and it's like, well, that don't bother me none because I am an idiot, so. But anyway, so, uh, do a little shout out to a special someone by the name of Jace. JC, uh, I hope you're doing all right. I know you watch all my videos and I know you hate me, but I just want to say hi, shout out. Uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, hi Bailey, which is, guys, Bailey is my daughter. Um, saying hi and everything and miss you and love you. Other than that, get a little shout out there. Anyway, which I'm sure that's probably going to upset her for like, why is he talking to me? Well, I was just trying to be nice, but whatever. Anyways, continue. We are at 541 miles, and there's a white creepy van parked in front of my apartment, and it's creepy. Anyway, I got my window open and everything else, and you know beautiful outside I got the heaters off and everything and feeling that cool breeze and it's like oh yeah you know But yeah, you can open windows now and everything. Uh, I don't know if you can see, oh, it's too dark. But you're able to uh, open your windows now and everything. Which is, I think I have one of them open, because it sounds like I do. Oh, there's that wind. You guys can't hear it. <laughs> You guys notice that I rolled the window uh, down there's that wind when I rolled the window up you know it's away. I will say this so far I'm liking the new details they put in this game um, all the bugs and everything that was issues and everything else uh, they said they fixed it and so far I've noticed they fixed a lot of stuff and I like how they added uh, some stuff also so very nice come on go up the hill come on come on go up the hill Go. Philip, I see the problem. Going up the hill is a pain in the butt. <laughs> you weren't lying. Come on. I'm going 30 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? Is this normal? Like, is this actually normal? Wow. Well, this is going to take forever. Ain't this nice? Anybody have a rocket booster or a NOS or something like that? We can put it in this truck. I mean, my gosh, come on. And you're getting lower. What the hell? You got to be joking me. 
No way. Yo. I think we're picking up speed now. Yay. Now we're talking. Let's do this. 70? Sure. You know, it's not like Philip does, you know, 80 or 90, you know. Well, we won't talk about that. We won't. We, that's classified. We won't talk about it. Anyway. But I was watching, uh, watching the news and everything, and they were saying that uh, it was a possible investigation of China accidentally send the virus our way all around the world and we're trying to figure out what the real cause was and everything and it's just like good luck on that good luck anyway do, 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 do. so hopefully everybody has it. whoa get over here Hopefully everybody's having a good decent, or going to have a good decent week, and waiting for the next weekend to come, so you guys can, uh, you know, sit on your butts and drink a couple beers and, you know, not do crap. So, well, there are some people out there will get bored enough to where it's like, all right, I gotta clean the house because they can't sit because it's like they're so used to, you know, doing things. But, uh, yeah. I cleaned my apartment yesterday, vacuumed it and everything else, and I had to clean after Rolo, because Rolo likes to chew his bones, and he likes to shred them to where there's pieces all over into the carpet, so when you are barefooted and you're stepping, it hurts. So I had to vacuum. Yeah, he likes to leave evidence. He's not very good hiding it. 439 miles to go. Let's get some horsepower going. Sorry guys, I'm going to be vaping again, so give me a second. My apologies if that was really loud in your guys' ear. My apologies. <clears throat> if you guys didn't hear it at all, or it didn't bother you, great. If it did, I do apologize. I try not to vape very much while I'm making videos and everything else because a lot of people say, oh my god, that's loud. Oh, I, that's why I try not to, uh, you know, oh, got a glitch. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful night. Well, the good news is, at least it's not snowing. <laughs> oh, crap. I have a feeling I just cursed myself. I have a f I have a strong, strong feeling that the company that made this game is probably like, ooh, snow. That sounds like an idea. Please don't. <laughs> I don't... I want to drive the rig, not go ice skating with the rig, okay? That, that's not fun. No. Not fun at all. But anyway... Do, do, do. Hopefully everybody uh, woke up this morning in a you know a decent mood and everything else, and hopefully you guys had a good night's sleep and everything. So I had I had a decent sleep and everything. I mean it was all right, but I woke up with a little bit of a headache, but doesn't anybody. There we go. All right.
right, this truck actually sounds like a real rig, and I'm very, 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 very impressed. Um, it, to me, I don't know if anybody can actually try to, you know, get what I'm trying to say is, when they added all these new sounds and everything else, it sounds like, how can I put it? It's, it doesn't sound like a cheap game. It sounds like, you know, when you buy the game, they put a lot of effort and everything in there. I mean, you can tell between, you know, games that are like five bucks and they're like, oh, this is, you know, cheap and everything. And the graphics and everything look horrible and everything else. But at the same time, it could be fun, you know. But when they added this beta and everything and all these new sounds and everything, it, uh, oops, slow down. Um, it actually sounds and feels like a very expensive game let alone it actually feels like you're actually driving the rig um except for i'm using a keyboard but hey it is what it is um i'm trying my hardest to find a steering wheel and a shifter and uh pedals and everything so i can actually drive the truck and uh so far I found a few, but money-wise, it's crazy of how much they're asking for it. You know, maybe I'm asking for my birthday. I don't know. Maybe Christmas. I don't know. But uh, anyway, but uh, but yeah, for all the guys, uh, all you guys subscribing to my channel and everything, I'm, I'm really happy and. Then, I'm really, uh, really, really, oh, that was my phone, sorry. Um, really, really thankful for all the people that's giving me the love and the support and everything and subscribing to my phone, I mean, my channel. There's the phone again. Anyway, so, we, but yeah, anyway, thank you, thank you, everybody, for the love and support and everything and watching my videos and everything else so um i'm hoping they're entertaining i'm hoping you know they're okay for like hey this guy's pretty cool but uh i knew that with that interview oh we're in utah see that we're in utah hell yeah please call for the vehicle inspection oh shit all right hey if there's drugs in the back of the you know, in the trailer, it's not mine. I swear to you. I did nothing wrong. Alright. Slow down. Not stop. I said slow down. All right. Eighty. Wow, eighty thousand pounds. I guess that's including with the trailer truck and <laughs> myself. I guess I weigh the extra fifteen thousand. Holy crap! I'm fat. Anyway, moving on. <sighs> Back on the road again. Can't wait to get on the road again. And then. then dum, dum, dum. Alright. Check my mirror. We're good. Alright. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, we got about 327 miles to go. We just hit Utah, and as soon as I went over the, the, the sign and everything, when it says, Welcome to Utah, that's when I had to go and weigh my truck. So, apparently I'm fat if I weigh 80,000 pounds. I mean, holy macaroni. Other than that, we'll just, uh, we'll just keep, uh, we'll just keep trucking. Just keep trucking, 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 just keep trucking. Oh, I'm, I'm drunk. I'm all over the road. <laughs> but anyway. 
I'm sure everybody's probably stressed out with this whole shutdown, you know, with the coronavirus and everything else. You know, you know what's funny is that Trump says, you know, he said on the news quote coming out of his mouth, he says, uh, you know, if it was an accident on, you know, the virus escaping from China and then comes all the way and kills around the world, it's an accident. But if it's something to be on purpose, there has to be consequences. I'm sorry, but in my book, i rather look at it this way. A mistake or no mistake, you killed half the world. And I believe that punishment should should happen because first of all you really shouldn't be dealing with that crap anyways so I don't know what you're working on I don't even know why you even decided to work on that I don't care but you killed pretty much half the world and lost all the innocent loved ones that could have you know spend their times with their family and loved ones on Easter and it's just it's mind-boggling and people are still suffering let alone dying and it's just crazy so I think punishment should be handled it doesn't even, it shouldn't matter if it was an accident or on purpose either way there should be some kind of punishment now punishment for something that big I don't know what kind of punishment they would do um you guys leave comments below and what you guys think about that you know if you were the president of the United States and you want to do some kind of punishment what would you guys do you know what what would you guys do what would be the biggest punishment that you can think of you know if you found out that it was on purpose or even if it was an accident you were the kind of person like me where it's like okay it doesn't matter if it was an accident where you shouldn't be messing with that if you didn't mess with it in the first place none of this would have happened that's how I look at it so you guys let me know on what you guys think and uh, leave comments below on that other than that I think I, I watch about 15 to 20 minutes of news every day just to see if you know okay I woke up this morning I'm gonna watch the news a little bit to see if anything overnight while I was sleeping anything major happened or if anything is getting worse, better, or what have you. And so far, I've been turning on the news every day, and something always has to come up worse than what it was before. Every time. And... I don't know. It just... It's crazy. It really, really is crazy. Really crazy. And we're going down the hill. Wow! Uh... We, I guess. There you go, Rig. Let's do this, son. We're on the highway to hell. But anyways, um, yeah, I heard there was a big storm coming. Uh, I keep hearing from other people, you know, there's a storm heading our way and everything, and. I'm like, really? I guess I haven't been watching the weather lately, so I didn't know there was a storm coming. I thought we were gonna have nice clear weather for the next for the rest of the week, but apparently not. Apparently it's stated that towards the end of the week, close to the weekend is where it's gonna be pounding rain and lightning and thunder and earthquakes and typhoons and everything else going on. But uh anyways. If anybody out there owns a pet, dog, cat, moose, cow, uh, chicken, rats, snakes, spiders, uh, ticks, whatever, hopefully, uh, you know, make sure they are all comfortable and everything with their little blankie and, you know, make sure to have their little snacks and everything else and enjoying the show. Other than that, my dog, Rolo, is on the recliner sleeping. Kind of. His ears keeps going up every time I say his name. So. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, a lot of construction going on over there. I wonder what they're working on. Hmm. Anyway, so hopefully everybody is doing okay today, and uh, hopefully, like I said, you know your pets have these, have their blanket and treats and everything, and hopefully they're enjoying the show. And uh, yeah, we were watching uh, YouTube. We were watching these YouTube videos of like animals being stupid and funny. And I tell you what, I I know I understand that animals are curious to certain things, you know, like a cup of water, or a cup of milk, and everything else. But when I see a cat putting his head into the cup with there's milk, and then all of a sudden he freaks out because he's stuck or something, and he lifts his head up and the milk spills all over him. Yeah, that's not good. No. I mean, wouldn't you be pissed if the cat dumped her beer? Yeah. You know, uh, animals can be really, really funny and everything else. And you know what's funny is my dog, every time he sees me playing on my Xbox or on my phone or whatever, he'll come up to me with his toy and my lap and he'll start whining. Like, put your phone down, put your gaming controller down, and give me attention. And then when I throw his toy across the hall and everything for him to chase after a few rounds, then he just comes back to me, but he lays on the floor and chews on it. And it's like, okay, now I can have five minutes to myself. And after those five minutes, he'll do it again. He'll put a toy in my lap and he'll squeak. And there we go again. He, he launched his little ball. So sometimes I love him I love him to death but he drives me nuts sometimes do, 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 do. oh look at that scenery guys isn't that pretty that's actually pretty cool I love the sound of this rig boy yeah buddy uh we got about 200 miles to go well 195 so, we're almost there. Well, we're about three hours away. Now, what would be really interesting, but at the same time, I, I don't know. What would, here's a question for you guys. So, with this truck simulator, if you guys haven't noticed, um, on... The, where my miles is down here on my screen on my right hand side and it says 3 hours and 12 minutes what if they actually made this game to where everything was actually real what I'm saying is 3 hours and 7 minutes what if it actually takes 3 hours and 6 minutes you know and it actually takes 3 hours of your time in reality like in real life I don't know, like, that sounds, I can't really say boring, I, I don't know, but leave comments below on that one too, you know, what you guys think about that and everything and how much hectic that would be and everything else, I, I'm not saying that would be cool, I'm just saying that would be like, you would have to take, depending on how long the trip you have, you would have to take like literally a whole day or a whole two days to freaking keep trucking. Now, what would it would have been awesome is not only that being in real life, but each trip uh, you complete, you actually get paid real money for it. That would be awesome. But I'm not putting my hopes up. Oh, damn it! Move my uh, mouse. Um, but anyways. It's not something I, oh, I wish that would happen. No, it's not like that. It's just, you know. But, uh, it's, it is what it is. So, other than that, uh, 
beautiful scenery. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know, the states I've already been in is uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, New York, but I didn't really actually like sit there and live there or anything. I just drove through it. Uh, Virginia, West Virginia, Illinois, California, um, Tennessee, um, Indiana. I think that's it. I've never been to Louisiana and, you know, the actual deep south. I've always wanted to, but you know, people say it's beautiful there. there anyway oh. I was thinking about putting traffic back on because after a while, it's like, ooh, no traffic, awesome. I get to have the whole road to myself. But at the same time, it does kind of get boring because, you know, you're just nothing stopping you and nothing you're running into except for your walls and everything else. But, you know, it's just like one of those things where it's just like, you know, you just keep driving and make sure you stay in your own lane. <laughs> Even though there's nothing you're going to hit, but, you know, that type of thing. But at the same time, I'm glad they put these uh, new sound effects in there, in this game and everything, when they updated everything. So. And I love the horn sound, because a horn actually sounds like a real rig. Like, I mean, you can't sit there and say that doesn't sound like a real rig so you know I remember when I was a kid I used to uh, you know pull my arm up and down and everything for them to honk the horn and when they honk it I would be like laughing and everything like ooh this is fun I was like five or six years old and uh, ever since then I was always fascinated with trucks and there's something about them it's like ooh you know and that's it. I mean, I like how they sound, especially uh, if they have straight pipe and everything else. Yeah, buddy. I mean, when they're sounding like this, I mean, it sounds awesome. It sounds nasty. It sounds aggressive. Like, get the hell out of my way. You know. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's very depressing when, whoa, I'm about to say screw it. Can I fit through there? You legally. Right now, this is completely illegal. You're like, Bo, what the hell are you doing? But, oh, look, a chopper. It's the first time I've seen a helicopter on this game. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Hear them straight pipes, boy. Ooh. That's crazy.
I'm on a high Anyways, we're almost there, guys. We're about 35 miles out. And uh, we're almost there. And I think next time I'm probably going to do a shorter route, especially if I'm making, you know, videos. Because this almost took a full hour. And it, I, I didn't know the trip was gonna actually going to take that long. And plus we did run into some, to, uh, some uh, complications too, so... But, uh, yeah. I'm sure you guys are probably waiting for that weekend to come back. Hey, like, where'd it go? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Please pull. Oh my god, again? You have macaroni and cheese with extra tomato sauce. Okay, fine. Let's do all the things that you want. thousand pounds all right here we go Sally I wonder if it actually drives truckers nuts aware when they had to keep stopping and weighing themselves and everything else even though it's part of their job but I wonder if it actually had time you know I guess it depends on your day you know if it you know drives you nuts and everything Just, well, I'm wondering Twenty two miles to go. I know guys, I'm trying to hurry. Anyway. I'm probably, I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I don't know. Probably going to eat, find something to snack on, and probably play a little Xbox and everything, possibly. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know. And maybe it's a nice day. Maybe I'll take my dog for a walk or something. I don't know. I'll think of something. Uh, I wonder what, uh, wonder what your guys' plans are for, you know, tonight or today, you know, depending on the people that are not working. You know, maybe you're probably just sitting back, chilling. Logan discovered. Tricks. Light turn. All right. All right. We are pretty much here, guys. Awesome, awesome. Slow down. What the hell's the matter with you? Turn the hazards on. Alright, here we go. Hang on to your butts.
All right, let's see where they want this. All right, we'll do that. See what we get out of it. Wow. Alrighty then, ten thirteen. Nice. All right. Well, guys, there you have it. We are in Utah, I think. Yep, Logan, Utah. All right, we're going to stop right here. And uh, next time, we'll uh, start from here and see where we go next. So, thank you guys for watching. I uh, really do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully, you guys, will have a safe week. Stay safe out there. Make sure you wash your paws and everything. Take care of your hygiene so you guys don't get sick and everything. Um, other than that, thank you for watching King Skeleton Channel. This is Bo. Don't forget that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Or that notification bell if you haven't yet. Other than that, thank you guys so much for the love and support. And uh, thank you for watching King Skeleton Channel. This is Bo. Signing out. Mm -hmm.